All right, guys, I hope everybody went to the uh, driving range yesterday, worked on your golf game, and then this morning uh, you're here to uh, work on your spiritual game and your, your, uh, your Christian game. So uh, that's, uh, that's a good goal for the new year uh, coming at us pretty quick. But we're in 2 Peter chapter 2, and the verse that rose up for me was number 1, right out of the gate. And it says, But there were also fal false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, they will secretly introduce destructive heiresses, even denying the sovereign Lord who brought, who bought them, who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Hmm. My reveal. False prophets have always plagued Israel. Back then, men would make a name for themselves and mislead God's people by claiming God had given them a message for Israel when he did not. Often their false prophecies would, direct, would directly contradict the message of God's actual prophets. Peter warned of this attack on the truth. Their goal is to convince Christians to join them in denying Jesus. We see groups today that claim the title Christian, but deny Jesus. They teach ideas contrary to the scriptures, but claim them to be true. You, got, you just have to watch. If it's not in the Bible, it's not what we should be leaning on. Implementation. My rule book for life is this Bible that I read and learn from every morning as I tee up my morning tea time. I have no time for false teachings. I listen to the te my teachings of my Bible. Pretty, I don't know how much more simple that, that could possibly be. Um, the way you learn and the way you, you look about false gods or false prophecies is, is you learn the word. You learn, you learn the Bible and you know what is in this book. Um, and then that will, that will weed out the false teachings of, of others that are, that are trying to um, lob some stuff at you, whether it be on TV, the radio, the internet, you know, the, these things are uh, stuff that, that we just have to be aware of. Again, the devil's playground, right? Okay, let's pray it out. <clears throat> Lord, uh, let, let all the brothers out there just be aware of, of these things that are going on around them and just stay true to the Bible and stay true to your teachings and stay true to you, Lord. And uh, let, let's not lead on anyone that is, uh, that is not the Almighty. Um, we know who he is and we know where we need to go for our information, Lord. We just do all this in your name. Amen. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. And I think we're still in 2 Peter, 2 Peter 3. See you in the morning.